everybody, Jerry Bellini here from Recycle Parts for Art. It's a little bit of a gloomy day, so I have all the lights on. You might see a few shadows. I'm really sorry about that. So I popped on today because I wanted to share with you how I make my business cards slash business tags. So uh, my husband and I do art shows. Well, we do one a year at least, and we want to do more after we move into the little house. But um, I you know need tags for some of my products that I sell and so I decided a while ago because I'm such you know into recycling I love recycling to make my own tags price tags and business cards and people love my business cards and I could only find one <laughs> because they must be packed somewhere so I use shipping tags and I thought you know if you don't want to use shipping tags you don't have to um, I today when I show you what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use some cardstock and I have some craft cardstock and I also have oh, I don't know where that came from I also have a package of this cardstock that I just purchased at Hobby Lobby and I don't know if you can see the um, design on it but it's kind of very reminiscent of vintage paper and it comes in a couple different colors and see I'm gonna put it up close hoping you can see it. I am particularly like this one. Oh, the package, by the way, it's from Papercraft Studios, I think they call it, and the package was 50% off at Hobby Lobby. So I was excited about that, and it's a very nice weight. I think it will make a nice business card. So I like this one because it's, it's very natural looking, and I go more for the paper bag look. So, um, the other thing I use these tags for are my things. So I make these pretty flowers and people can pin them on their clothes, on a hat, um, on a purse, on whatever. And I have, I have a video showing you how to make these. Do I have a video showing you how to make these? I don't know if I do. I'll have to look. I know I showed you how to make my paper flowers. These are made out of... Um, old curtains and, and beads that I had left over. So I have, it's a tie tack. All right, I'm digressing, okay? But I use the tags. It's a nice presentation and I have my information on here so that if people, you know, once they make the purchase, if they want to contact me, they can. This information is no good, it's old, so it doesn't matter if you see it. All right, so this was um, this is an offshoot of my recycled parts for art. Um, my, the things that I make, hand, my handmade items, I list under Bellini made. And this is, like I said, this is my business card. So today I'm going to show you how I do that. All right, I got my camera propped up on a book so you can see my computer, and we're going to start from scratch, and I in no way, shape, or form am an expert on this, and I barely squeak by, I have to tell you, and I figured this out because I really wanted to do it, and, and that's it, and there may be a much simpler way to do this. But I just wanted to show those of you that are um, challenged in this area how I do it. And you can use this um, technique or not. So here. All right, here we are in pages. And the first thing I'm going to do is open up a blank document. And now I'm going to click on View, Show Layout, and View again, Show Rulers, just so I have a guide of what I'm doing. All right, now I'm going to go up to Insert, Table, and I want to pick Plane. All right, so I've got a table, and it automatically gives me four rows. I do want to get rid of this last row. I know that right away, so I'll do that right off. Delete column. You just highlight. You put your cursor up in the, up in the um, letter where the letter is, and then double-click and click Delete. And I want to get rid of this bottom row, this number five row, and highlight, Delete. Okay, so we want four rows by three columns. Now, we are going to make our labels in the first column A and the third column C. The column B is just going to be a little bit of a buffer. 
sometimes I have to press on this a couple times. All right, <laughs> a little buffer. I told you I'm not a, an expert on this. Now you see when I'm going to drag this, it's telling me how wide this column is is going to be. I'm going to make sure I'm dragging the right column. B. So B, I want to make B small. I just want it to be a little buffer between A and C and I'm trying to, I'm aiming to get it kind of in the middle. Can you see these lines up here? That line and that line, that's why I want those guides. So I want this to kind of be in the middle. And just a little bit so that when I put my labels in here um, we're good. All right, so now what I want to do is um, highlight this whole block. And if you look um, to the right where it says table and you look down here, alternating row color is checked off because I use that a lot. So that's always checked off. So I want to take that off because I just want the rows to be all white. Okay, so my box is highlighted and now I want to uh, go over here and change the margins. So I have to go over to where it says document for a minute and now I can change the margins. You see header, I want them at 0.25 which is a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to change all these numbers to a quarter of an inch. Okay. Now I'm going to go back over to format. Sorry, we don't want to adjust that B box so we're going to just grab this and do we're going to do them one at a time. And this is 2.25 inches and we want to do this column width. That's the column width is 3.25. Okay, and then you hit enter. And see that's the perfect size. Now let's see this one should be that size too. Yep. So we've got 3.25 here and we've got 3.25 there and you can see down here at the bottom that that's correct. And then we have this, this little tiny buffer in between and it's actually the column width is what we're wondering about and the column width is down here and it's a little over a quarter of an inch. All right, that's perfect. So now we want to go over to the text box up here at the top and we're in the we're in format text box and here's where you're just going to have some fun so you're going to pick a text that you like and I like American typewriter and you're going to start typing you're going to put your cursor in this box see now my cursor's in the box I'm going to start typing words and these down here make that that makes it in the center so see now that little cursor uh, jumped to the center and um, I'm going to size it over here and you can use bold, italics, underline. So I just want you to start putting some uh, verbiage in here of what you think you might want on your business card. And I'm going to do that and then I'm going to come right back. Okay, so I had some fun with this and I, because I have the guides on, I can see um, where I'm at and you can see the blue marks and if you uh, click off the box they go away so you can get a good idea of what it looks like so I think I'm going to be happy with what I, I wrote I'm going to use these cards when I go to an art show and I really want people to be able to find me on social media and uh, so I have my uh, web address up there which is the most important thing to me and my email address down here now make sure you leave a little bit of a space between uh, the last line that you write and the next box because we're going to cut these apart and we don't want to be cutting like right on top of the word. So when you're fooling around with um, with all this on the right, just take that into consideration. So now um, I want this in all the boxes. So I'm going to go up there and put my cursor up there and highlight the whole thing. Command C is copy. Now when you go into the next box, you have to make sure your cursor is in there or it's not going to it's not going to copyright. So see, now my cursor is in there. Command V. And you're just going to go down all the boxes and just do that. And make sure your cursor is in there. If for some reason, 
I'm going to show you. If for some reason you go to the next box, but you see my cursor is not in there anyway, anywhere, and I click Control Print, um, Control V, which is con uh, paste. Gosh, Jared, can you talk? You see what happens? If you do something like that, don't don't worry. Just go up here to Edit. Click on Edit, Undo, Paste. Okay, and then just go back in there. Make sure your cursor is in there. I see it. Command V which is uh, paste. Oops, see, I did it. I did it again. All right, the cursor wasn't in there. Now it is. It's in there. Okay, see? There we go. And now we've got a whole page. So now I'm going to take this over to my printer, print it out, and then I will come back and show you what it looks like. All right, so I'm pretty pleased with the way it turned out. And, you know, I could have moved my margin, this margin, over a little bit and that would have pushed the words over, but it really doesn't matter because I'm going to trim these pretty close to um, the edge. And if you wanted to, you know, tighten this up a little bit to make the label smaller, you can do that. You really just have to play around with the fonts and whatnot when you're, when you're doing this. And you might have to print out one or two pages just to see um, if you like the placement and what have you. And then once you're finished, then you would just cut the pieces all apart. And I did want to mention that um, really what the hardest thing for me when I was doing this was to make all these little boxes. And that's where the tables um, in pages come in handy. And again, I, I am so totally uncomputer savvy and just kind of figured this out by trial and error. So um, I hope, you know, you'll try to make some uh, business cards of your own or, or any other kind of card using this method. And I'm going to cut these apart, and then I'm going to come back and show you um, the finished product. Okay, here we are. I cut all my labels out, and I wanted to show you um, how a couple of them turned out. So I took a piece of um, craft colored cardstock and I just cut it out in a rectangle with a little bit of a border around and I took a punch that I had. I have these two cute little uh, flower shaped punches and you could use a die cut machine too and, and make lots of little things and I glued them down and I used this tiny little brad that I just got from Hobby Lobby on clearance for 75 cents. Teeny tiny little brads and doesn't that look cute? And the other way you can do it is make it more like a tag and make it long and just, you know, put a little string in the end and they're adorable. Now, I like to have the strings on mine because I tie the strings to the shopping bag that I give my customers and I, I'll show you that in another video where I decorate the bags. And you could also glue your label to a real shipping tag that you've coffee dyed or not. And that looks super cute as well. And that's what I did originally on my business cards. So the other thing you can do is you can um, round the edges on both the label and also on the cardstock. And that looks really super cute too. Now if you're going to do that, you'd have to be careful when you cut these out to make sure that the you have enough room around the words to do that, which which I would. And I that's about it. That's all I have to say about that. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that you will give it a try. I totally love using recycled, uh, handmade business cards, and um, I hope you will too. And I hope you have a blessed day full of love and recycled art, and I will see you again soon.